Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. All right, here he is for my money, Michael, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart, with big differences in height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's UFC first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. The Giant! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, man. We are underway. Several UFC moments inside the world's most famous arena, and we are back at Madison Square Garden tonight. Should be a good one. Who gets that shining moment in the world's greatest arena? I experienced it. I know how it feels to walk out of that octagon at MSG with a championship. Will you get that moment tonight? Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. Right on the button. Lost that strike. Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Choi. Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. All right, he 
closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Big Paul punch lands. Now he gets back to range. One, two there by Choi. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Oh, nice. Oh, straight right. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Look at the turnover in that kick. Straight to the body by Shore. Big head kick lands. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Back to the jab now, no good. He blocks the punch. Nice. And they separate. Ooh. Choi's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. He's able to slip the left. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Nice kick. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Massive elbow from the plank. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big punch man. Just unable to quite find that range. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. Nice strike. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good stuff. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. What a punch. He lands with the left. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Dig and kick. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Tags him with the left. Single collar tie now. 
over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, that's a nice strike. Wow. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by the Korean Super Bowl. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. And they separate. Just missed on the front kick there. A oh, little single collar tie there. I mean, he's cutting them down the side. Oh, he can't. Oh, oh, that is exactly how you turn defense into offense. Catches the kick and dumps him on the mat. What a great job timing that kick. Driving into his opponent and putting him on his back. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, collar tie. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here and as a result has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Got a single collar tie. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly straining at the gas tank of your opponent. Now connects with a right. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by the Korean Super Bowl. That one's not good. Nice strike. He is cut above the eye here. All right, single collar tie now. And then he comes knee. through with a big hit. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position from here. Who's going to be the first one to attempt the takedown? Both of our combatants have the ability to score and secure the position. Who's going to be the one that makes the first move? Ooh, what a punch. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Back and forth we go. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Joy gets touched by that kick to the body. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Right hand punch with the clinch. The Korean Superboy gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you would. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risks. What a fantastic round. All right, next round is now underway. DC, Ready? any major takeaways Ready? after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmaker did a fantastic...
fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level of Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Left hand punch in the clinch. Oh, and he lands in another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. There's no give on that leg kick. That's a big strike right there. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Lands to the body there. Caught that. Now, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Joy gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big power shot there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Man, what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. with the right hook. All oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. There. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Oh, oh look at that. He leapt up and landed the diving punch to the head. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Back to the feet now. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Ooh. Single collar tie now. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate. A lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. Good stick. A little single collar tie there. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Nice left hand there on the inside. Oh, collar tie. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Oh, big punch lands. What a round. 
All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Oh, nice punch there by Choi. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with those leg kicks. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Right hand punch to the clinch. And they separate. Flips to avoid the right. Got the single collar ties. Well, just oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down. Though. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton. Perhaps just looking to recover. Right hand punch to the clinch. Both fighters throwing heat now. All right, single collar tie now. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. He lands a big knee to the body. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proving prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. And they separate. Straight right, he misses. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Oh! Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land those strikes. Oh! He was Serves him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Point DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. We send it in there now to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop this contest at 2 minutes, 24 seconds of round number 4. To play the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that will listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.